Hi, this will be a quick video, but a very important one. I just wanted to tell you about something that happened recently in my shop that could have cost me my hand, and I bet it's something you've done yourself, perhaps without thinking. How many times have you cut something small like this with a miter saw? Don't lie, every one of us have done this at some point. It's just one quick cut, hold the piece tightly with your fingers, there's a guard on the blade, your hand's not in the path, everything should be fine. The problem is, you can't grip a small piece of wood with your fingers well enough. If it catches on the blade, it can easily pull your hand into harm's way, especially if the piece does not span across the throat opening. Because I know how dangerous this can be. Several years ago, I got one of these. This is not a sponsored product. I spent my own money on it and I've never contacted the company about it. Recently. This saved my hand from a terrible accident. To understand what happened, you have to understand how it works. It has three feet on the bottom. These three points of contact allow it to tilt in awkward positions to hold any small workpiece. And when you press down on the arm, it applies a tremendous amount of pressure. This is like a third hand that can get as close to the blade as you need it to be without risking your fingers. This is also the second one I have owned. My first one is broken in half, not because it was poorly made, but because it saved my hand. Some time ago, I was trimming a small piece of wood, and like a responsible woodworker, I was using my safety device, when one of those freak things that you never think will happen to you actually occurred. The saw caught on the wood, and it pulled it and the hold down stick into the blade. The blade hit the stick right on the end where it's chipped, and it did so with such force that it snapped the stick in half. Were it not for this hold down, I definitely would be missing fingers. That is why we use safety devices, not for the thousand times that you've gotten away with doing something, but for the one in a thousand time when something does go sideways. Now before you ask, yes, you can attach a piece of plywood on the saw's fence to close up the throat opening so small pieces can't get pulled in there. But that's not going to work if you're tilting and turning the blade to cut at angles all the time, and I'll bet 99% of you do not have your throat opening closed, and you've got no plans to change that. So get one of these. It's called the $10 million stick, it also goes by some other names, it is worth every penny. Again, not a sponsored product. But I think every miter saw should have one next to it, and I can personally vouch for the fact that it does save fingers. I'll put a link to it below this video. See you next time. If you get what you pay for, then why are bandsaw blades so inexpensive at sawblade.com? Seriously, they're as good as any I've used, they come in any size you need, and they cost quite a bit less than anything comparable at the woodworking retailers. Try them for yourself at the link below this video. You'll see. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.